Bubble gum is one of the ones that came from America. It's a pure indica. It was brought over by American expatriates to Holland and by the Sirius C Company, and they've worked with it for years since then. And it's a pretty much a stabilized. Um, they got their F1 hybrid down pat. It is what it is, and it's a good strain. Bubble gum's pretty good for beginners, but you really got to watch the water with it. The problem is, is uh, like I said, it's connoisseur grade cannabis and you're not going to get huge yields from it if you just grow it like it as is. Bubblegum, strictly indoor strain. I tried to grow it outdoors a couple times and the light signals confuses the crap out of it. And uh, it's one of them plants that doesn't get very big, so there's not a big yield outdoors. It's one that we've played with with hormones and breeding. Bubblegum's been bred into a lot of strains that you know of, just not as a major parent of it. It encourages earliness. Bubblegum usually averages about 60 days. Um, I've seen a few variants go a little under that, and I've seen some people try to breed with it on F2s, usually goes to 75, 80 days. Pure bubblegum, that's one of the problems with it. It's a connoisseur strain. Uh, yield indoors on a normal plant will be from two to four ounces. If you can break a half pound of bubblegum, you knock it out of the park. Bubblegum is very small. It's usually two to four foot. Unless you play with it with hormones, it's hard to get it over four foot. That's why it doesn't lend itself to outdoors very well. Like I said, the drawbacks is, is the yield and uh, the pluses is the, is the cannabinoid profile and the taste are both out of this world. Bubblegum is a very unique strain. There's not a lot of similar strains to it. It's uh, one that's been bred from a lot, but it was when it came out, it was its own unique flavor.